Hello, it's Markham Matorshic here for Markham 3D, and oh my goodness, Tube Tool, where have you been all my life? So, the link for this GitHub is in the description below, so you go down, check that out. What we're doing is to download this add-on, we go clone, zip to download, and let that puppy download. Let's come over into Blender, Edit, Preferences, and we're going to click Install. And I'm just going to go into my downloads folder. It says full of stuff. I'm going to sort by date. And as you can see, I've just re-downloaded it. I'm going to click install add-on from file. From here, I enable tube tool and let the fun begin. So at the moment, let's say we've got this cube. Shift D, wait, delete the default cube. Shift A, add in the cube. We are going to select everything with A. Shift D, Y to move it over. And I'm going to grab this face and this face and I'm going to press I to do an inset and bring it in. From here I'm just going to press spacebar, add simple tube, bam. Cool. Yeah, okay. Okay, I hear you. This has created a wonderful tube. However, if I delete this tube, let's bring this up. I'm going to select this cube on the right, G, Z, and bring it up. Let's now select this face and this face space to search or however you want to search add simple tube oh my goodness it made a tube <laughs> and here we can change how far out want to come um, so there's a whole bunch of settings so much time wasted using the spin tool um, I don't know why this um, got created down here let's just go tab to internet mode if we delete that but you can see we created a whole bunch of stinking tubes just then and the best thing is, is if I press tab into edit mode, it's a busier curve. Oh my goodness. So let me just show you some other cool stuff that we can do. So this is what we've got. We've got six plates, boxes. We got five over here and we kind of just want to create some very basic cables. So I'm going to select all these. I'm going to press I to do an inset, but as you can see it insets all as one. But if I press I again, it'll individually inset them. So now we can just go, this one can go to here, space, add simple tube. Oh, let's bring that down. Whoops, sorry, let's do that again. And we go space, add simple tube, add simple tube. Let's just, maybe we can bump up the resolution if we wanted to. Um, there we go. And we just do it like this as well. Give it some love, overall scale. Let's bring it in. For some reason it's created two. Let's just delete that one. All right, and we can come in here. Let's go to the next. Can go up into here. Add simple tube. We've got our wonderful dimensions. Add simple tube. Uh, this one can come over here. And well, it's got a bit of a taper. And over to here, over to here. Bam. Ah, that one doesn't work out well. That's fine. Let's go here. Let's select these two. I'm going to press W, subdivide. And let's just go into side view. G, Z, and oh my goodness, how quick can wires be created now? Amazing balls. Anyway, that's the tube tool add-on. If you like these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with this amazing stuff that I'm finding. And so let's just do the same thing for these cylinders. So once again, add simple tube. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. And let's select these two, space, add simple tube. Oh my goodness. Oh, they can be, oh, oh look at it. Oh my, oh, my mind is blown. This is just pure amazingness. So building engine parts and doing those kinds of things is just so much quicker using this tool. And once again, where are you going to download it from? It's from GitLab and there's a link in the description.